you take a leap of faith We got a love that's worth the wait Darling, you've been on my mind Hi, can I do a grande cold brew with two pumps of white mocha? and the pumpkin cream cold foam on top hi you guys what's up it is actually much much later since i filmed the beginning of this vlog but wanted to say hi welcome back to another vlog i am doing just like a little weekend in my life vlog i think i don't know we'll see where this goes I have a smudge on my camera so sorry for that um but i am gonna have a really busy weekend and want to take you guys along for it we're going to the jonas brothers concert finally i cannot believe the weekend is finally here for that i literally could cry thinking about it like i'm obsessed with jonas brothers i've been obsessed with them for literally years now like so long since i was a kid like i remember getting like the tiger beat magazines and like having their posters in there and ripping them out putting them on my walls like literally love them so i'm really excited to go see them in concert i'm going with bianca she is like my little concert buddy um we went to taylor swift together too and speaking of taylor swift well, let me know what you think about travis and taylor in the comments literally so happy with them i'm obsessed with them um i love a good little football player relationship obviously my husband used to be a football player so i'm partial to relationships like that but yeah anyway i'm i'm like obsessed with them so we have some stuff to do to prepare for the concert tomorrow so i'm actually at tj maxx right now and tomorrow the concert's not tomorrow the concert is saturday but i'm at tj maxx right now i'm gonna go in and get some of those like dermaplaning um razors for my face because i have not done that to my face in a little while and i really need to do that and then i also am going to get my nails done because as you can see they are tragic so we're gonna do that but i'm gonna run into tj maxx now bruise the aisles a little bit too maybe see if we find something else that we might be interested in and then i also got like everything in for the weekend i have like two outfit options i'm trying to decide between tomorrow is friday zach's got a football game i am planning to do my other job which is content and go downtown and shoot a bunch of content and stuff like that so that's what's happening tomorrow i'm just giving you guys a rundown of this vlog and what's gonna happen but who knows what's gonna happen truthfully in this vlog um so yeah, let's go into TJ Maxx. Okay, so this is literally all I got. There was honestly not very much choices. Um, at, like everything at TJ Maxx, like clothes wise, sucked. Sometimes it's, I feel like it's very hit or miss, but got the derma planers, which is what I needed. And I got this brand. I've never tried this brand before, but we're gonna try them because I thought it was like the best deal. It was like seven bucks for a pack of, I don't even know, 12. Yeah, so good deal. Gonna go get these nails done now. All right, you guys, I just got done in the nail salon and I got red nails. <laughs> it's crazy. Hold on, let me turn this air down so you can hear me. I don't think I've ever gotten red nails, to be quite honest with you. Um, don't know how to feel about them. Like, I think it'll be a vibe when I'm like, have on a cuter outfit and like, done up. Like, I think they're cute, but it's just so much bolder than like what I'm used to. I've like never done red nails. Um, so it's gonna take some getting used to. She also did them like a lot longer than I wanted. And she was like, are these good? And I was like, yeah, but they're just kind of long. So I might try and like file them down when I get home. Like, cause especially once they start growing out, like this hand is like kind of longer than the other in my opinion. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to try and like <laughs> find a solution. Also once I self tan tonight, like I think they'll be like they're cute, right? I think they'll be even better when I'm self-tanned because I'm kind of pale right now. <laughs> Not me trying to convince myself that this was the right decision. I think it was. But like, the reason I did red is because like, Jonas Brothers, burning up, red dress, like all of that. So, anyway, that's all. <laughs> Gonna love you to the end.
You guys, look how cute these shoes are that Dolce Vita sent me. I am obsessed with them. Like, literally the cutest thing in the world. They're actually, like, blending in with our carpet right now. <laughs> but they're, like, a, like, suede. I could probably show you better if I did not have them on right now, but I have to put them on because they're so nice. Um, but they're, like, a suede. So nice. Like, these are honestly some of the nicest boots I've ever put on. Like, so good. They're really comfortable. The heel is, like not too high and like it's chunky so it's pretty easy to walk in actually about to go shoot some content um and i just threw this little outfit on i don't think i'm gonna wear these boots i think it's cute together but i think i have something else i want to wear these boots with maybe um but i don't know i kind of like it i have another pair of boots though that i might style with this but i am gonna go out to lunch get a coffee i need to shoot some content like i said and that is what we have on the agenda today. But I do think this is kind of cute with the boots. Like, I'm not mad about this. So maybe I'll leave them on with this outfit. But I really like them. So I'll link them. I also am having a really good makeup day today. You know those days when, like, your makeup actually looks good? There's some days I swear that my makeup, I do it the exact same way and it looks like absolute crap. But today it looks good. And I also self-tanned last night. So I think that's probably has a big thing to do with it. Um whoa um anyway yeah but i need to put on some deodorant before we leave this um denim that i have on is actually a denim jacket from levi's i ordered it like last fall i think last winter maybe um and i saw this girl her name's becca sinelli i think is how you say her name she's so cute she used to do um, cuts when I, we were working with cuts she also worked with them so that's how I like met her <laughs> through there and she literally has the cutest style and she has like a TikTok where she styles stuff I'll link her TikTok down below um, but I saw her style a denim jacket like this that buttoned up like this and I thought it was so cute on her and I think she even wore it with like some white shorts like this and I really just thought it was so cute so I copied her this is like inspo from her but she has the cutest style Okay, I'm home from running errands, doing content, all the things. Went to lunch with my mom, dad, sister, and yeah, I am like looking in this viewfinder. I really do think I fixed the quality of my camera. I really hope I did. I like re completely reset it to like the original settings. And I guess when I was messing around with settings at some point, I completely like whacked it out <laughs> and it like i couldn't figure out how to get it to go back and then finally i was like i'm just gonna reset the whole thing but i think it looks better now maybe i don't know anyway i've been working this afternoon it's pretty much done like i'm pretty much done today it's 4 30 so i don't really have much more to work on at the end of the month too so like i'm kind of just like done with work right now and we're gonna like move on to the next month on monday but my sweet mother <laughs> ordered some of these samples and i was going to show you guys because they're so cute these are the you've probably seen this brand before it's the glamour wash brand and the scents are normally i think the diva scent is the one that's the most popular i don't think that's the scent of these yeah my mom said the scents are regal and wish list um but these are just like supposed to make your laundry smell really good and they're just like little samples of them that she ordered i don't know how to like smell it oh that smells really good oh my gosh this y'all this smells just like the baccarat rouge uh not shampoo perfume this one right here it's the regal scent from glamour wash that smells literally just like it oh my gosh i'm obsessed okay let me go ahead and smell this one too but i'm excited to use these 
Okay, wish list smells good too. It smells like more of like a cleaning, it smells cleaner. The Regal smells like sweeter. Anyway, but I think you can order like a pack of like all their um, scents on Amazon because I think that's what my mom did and she got like two of them and she gave me two of them. So I will link these down below, but I know the full sizes are pretty expensive, but you can get like a little set of them for probably the same price and a little goes a long way from what I've heard. So that was really sweet of her to get me and they also sent over this little stain pen remover thing. So anyway, but I am about to get ready. Zach has a football game tonight. I need to do like a quick pickup of this place. We're going out of town tomorrow. So I want to make sure that the house is like in order before we leave because we'll probably leave in the morning and we're gonna get back really late tonight from Zach's game. But I need to get ready for that here in a minute. And yeah, that's what I have going on. I literally think I'm gonna get Taco Bell for dinner tonight because I'm craving it. And yeah, we normally go out as coaches wives, but no one's really said anything in our group chat. So I don't think we're all gonna go eat. So I'm just literally gonna get Taco Bell, which is perfectly fine with me because if I got to eat on Fridays, I like to get a drink with it. And since I'm taking the steroid for my cough, that still is not gone by the way, I can't drink. So yeah, I am like still coughing up my lungs. Um, not as bad, it's definitely gotten better, but it's, it's, <coughs> it's still there. Like I'll have random coughing fits. Like last night I had a bad coughing fit and I've been on antibiotic. I've been on the steroid. I've literally almost finished the entire pack and it's still lingering. Don't know what's up with that. I'm thinking it will go away eventually. It's just here to stay for now. Oh, and also wanted to give you guys a house update because we did hear from our builder that it's looking like December now to move in. Not gonna be November anymore like we were hoping. And every time I get delayed news like that, it makes me really freaking sad because I just want to be in our house so bad. But I tried to reframe my mindset about it because when we got this house, originally when we moved down over a year ago, we like this house was such a blessing to us and it still is obviously, but like, of course, when you have like something bigger and better and exciting on the horizon, like you're just looking forward to that and you're not thinking about the now. And I just like really been praying about it a lot. Like God would change my heart about it because I just was having so much anxiety and frustration surrounding our house ordeal. And I really feel like he just like changed my heart about it and like spoke to me like, like basically like listen once again, like I blessed you with this and it's still a blessing to you. Like don't take for granted the blessings that I've given you through this house. And like, I feel so much more at peace about it now. And I'm like, you're so right, God. Like literally I like I'm taking for granted something that was such a blessing to us in the beginning so just because you have something like on the horizon that you know is going to be good for you and better for you in the future does not mean what you have right now is not still a blessing and I try to remind myself of that all the time because I feel like we're always on to the next thing looking forward to the next thing all this stuff but it's like you have to remember like sometimes the situations you're in are exactly what you prayed for and it's an answered prayer and if you're sitting there taking it for granted because you're looking forward to the next thing you're missing out on some amazing blessings that god could still be blessing you with through that answered prayer currently so that's my little spiel motivational speech um but it just really had me thinking i wanted to share like my thoughts on that and i'm no longer going to be complaining about the house thing we will be in there when we're supposed to be in there but i want to obviously keep you guys in the loop but hopefully december and it'll be a lovely little christmas gift hopefully by god we get to decorate for christmas this year um but we'll see it's it's all in god's timing so okay so this is the fit actually you cannot even see it let me move you down this is the fit i'm just wearing not the recliner in the way this is not our recliner by the way this is the people we're renting from um, my friend's recliner and we will not be having a recliner in our new house. I'm just going to put that out there. Anyway, um, corduroy little jacket shirt situation. Then I'm wearing these little boxer shorts from Target. They came in like a little pack. Um, they're really, really, really comfy and really cute when you wear them like with something long like this. And then shoes are just my little Adidas. I don't remember the name of these, but I have them in like this cream color and black and they're so comfortable. Um, but that's what I'm wearing. It's kind of hot right now. So I'm hoping I don't regret wearing this, but I know it's going to get colder 
eventually and I literally was freezing last time that I didn't wear a jacket so I'm just gonna go with it okay I think I'm ready um, can I do the nacho fries deluxe cravings box um, but is there any way instead of the chicken chalupa supreme can I make it a beef one um, let's do a coat, please. That's it. Thank you. All right, you guys, I actually am so excited. If you know me, you know I freaking love Taco Bell, and I was craving this for dinner tonight. So this is what we got, a nacho fries, deluxe cravings box. Nacho fries are the best. They only come around, like, every now and then. They're not, like, a permanent menu item. So I was really excited to see they had them back. I got a little chalupa. I mean, this is a not Doritos, nachos, locos, taco, whatever. And then a five layer beefy burrito. So this is dinner tonight. I'm so excited. <laughs> Should we make that one that's like, um... Revolve? Revolve. <laughs> I'm actually oh, wearing... Revolve. I'm wearing Amazon. Amazon. Windsor. Festique. I think it's where I got these. These were really old, but... They actually have really similar ones right now. On the website. Um, she's burning up, and I'm... Cake by the ocean. <laughs> oh my god. We're in line. Like what? <laughs> um, we're literally in line, and I have a Chick-fil-A cup, and I know I can't bring it in. So I hope they have a trash can. It's on the video one, right? I reset all my settings. Oh my god, that's cute though. Like where? Like the they control the lights.
Hello, you guys. Back in Colombia, I, Zach and I left Charlotte last night. We were gonna stay, but then Zach was like, let's just drive back. Like, it's not gonna be that bad of a drive, and it really wasn't, just because there was, like, no traffic. We were driving back at, like, midnight. Um, anyway, so, yeah, but I figured we could just kind of debrief on the concert, like we did after the Taylor Swift concert, even though I'm not with Bianca anymore, which I'm really sad about. Literally only saw her for a few hours, um, and it just makes me sad. I wish we still like lived close to each other because I just like miss hanging out with her all the time. But back in Columbia now, I went and got a coffee, of course, and it's Sunday and I'm gonna go run some errands. I need to go by um, Target to get just some like things we're out of at the house, like toothpaste, deodorant, like all those fun things. So we're gonna go run to Target after this to get that. But I wanna just debrief on the concert, talk with you guys about it. Also, they made this like really creamy today i'm not like, really vibing with it and i ordered this you guys know i ordered a grande cold brew two pumps white mocha pumpkin cream cold foam on top and the girl goes are you sure you don't just want a pumpkin cream cold brew i'm like yes i am sure i think if i wanted one i would have ordered one <laughs> like she was like are you sure you just don't want a pumpkin cream cold brew <laughs> like what do you want me to say like now that you mention it i do want one <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm not trying to be rude I know a lot, of, a lot of you guys think like the way I think say things is rude, but I'm not being rude. I just thought it was funny. Like, obviously I want, like if I just wanted a pumpkin cream cold brew, I would have ordered that. You know what I mean? Like I would not make it that complicated <laughs> and make a specific order if I just wanted a pumpkin cream cold brew. I just thought it was funny. Anyway, this is my order though. And it's way better than the pumpkin cream cold brew in my humble opinion. But let's see brief concert was amazing. Me and Bianca both were saying that now that we went to the era store, like Taylor Swift's concert, every concert now is almost kind of underwhelming. Not that it wasn't a great concert, but it's just like Taylor set the bar so high that like now all these other artists, like, I don't know. It's just like Taylor's concert was such a performance. Like it was just a, it wasn't just like a concert. Like there was so many different aspects to it. And like, I don't know. So like the Jonas Brothers, like it was a concert, like, and they had different fun little aspects, but it wasn't anything like crazy where I was like, oh my gosh, whoa, wow. Like the visuals or the dancing or any like the stage movements and props and any of that, like there wasn't really any of that at this concert. Not to say that like that's pretty normal. Like most concerts are exactly how the Jonas Brothers concert was, but I'm just saying if you went to the Eras tour at all, you just experienced a different level of what a concert can be. And so I think now, it's just like all the concerts that I will go to furthermore are going to be kind of underwhelming, which makes me sad, but it was still an amazing concert. Literally loved every single part of it. Our seats were really, really good. Only thing that could have been better is if we were like on the floor, like super, super close to the stage. So we could have like been really close to them, but we could see everything perfectly. Like it was so good. We were so close to stage B when they came to stage B to perform like some of the songs, which they actually came to stage B like a lot throughout the um, show. Like I was not expecting them to like go back and forth as much as they did, but it was really, really fun. And I just really, I like just love the Jonas Brothers. I've been a Nick girl since I was 12, 10 maybe. And I've just always loved them. But like to see them in person and see that they're like grown and like adults now. And like I'm an adult now and like they have children and they're married and like I'm married. Like it's just like so wild to me um because i remember like having posters of them all over my room and like just being like obsessed with them like there's nothing like a good old like boy band crush when you're like a little girl and they were just my boy band crush i loved them and so it was just really cool to see them play like so many songs that i used to like be obsessed with when i was younger and then like their newer songs that i also really love vacation eyes was probably like my favorite song that they performed Love Bug was really good too, but that's just such a classic of theirs. So of course it was going to be good. Year 3000, Burning Up, SOS, like all of the classics were so good. Uh, a Little Bit Longer by Nick was like kind of emotional for me. If you don't know, he it has diabetes and he was diagnosed with it and wrote that song based on his journey with getting diagnosed with it. I think it's type one or type two, type one maybe diabetes. I can't remember the, the which one is which, but one of the types is an autoimmune like condition and so um for me it was just like kind of emotional like hearing him sing that song live and like knowing like i know exactly what he's talking about in the song like because i've been through it and 
yeah so that was like kind of emotional because he like played it like solo on the piano and like right on stage b right in front of us and i don't know it was just really really sweet and then they sang when you look me in the eye they like they sing so they sing like literally every song i'm pretty sure it was pretty impressive but all that to say definitely would recommend going to the Jonas brothers concert if they are touring close to you i definitely think it's worth it i think that they did an amazing job it was so surreal like getting to see them like i have such a huge nick crush and like watching him like perform and stuff is like so fun and like i don't know it was just like a really really sweet fun concert like it was not anything super overwhelming and like where i was just like wowed the whole time but it also was just like oh like my heart like i just love them and so it was just like such a sweet little show to go to and experience and i'm just so glad that me and bianca got to go and now i'm just waiting for our next eras tour who are we gonna go see i really hope justin bieber does one like i want him to do one so bad i will literally cry and i will buy floor seats for him like i i like me and bianca were like from here on out we have to get floor seats for any of these concerts that we go to but i would cry if justin bieber did one um because he would fulfill my third childhood crush because it was Jonas Brothers, Jesse McCartney, and Justin Bieber. All J's, kind of funny. Um but those were all my childhood crushes and I've seen Jesse McCartney and I've seen Jonas Brothers and now I need to go see Justin. Whoa, okay. Um anyway, but that was my debrief on the concert. You saw all the clips too. It was just like so fun and so good and they, their voices are so good in person like it was just amazing anyway but i'm gonna end off this vlog here i'm gonna go run my errands now get situated for the week it's sunday so we're just gonna do a good little sunday reset make sure we've got everything prepped for the week ahead and just kind of chill out so love you all so much I'm gonna edit this as soon as i can and get it up for you as soon as i can and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.